Good afternoon, everybody. This is Tucker Miller here again, and like I said, for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing on all the DreamWorks movies leading out to the wild robot. So anyways, but like I said, for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing on Shrek 2. Came out in 2004, aka the same year I was born. So... The plot of this movie is we got Shrek and Fiona. Shrek is once again voiced by Mike Myers and Fiona is once again voiced by Karen Diaz. And, and they just came home from their honeymoon and then, yeah. And Donkey is once again voiced by Eddie Murphy. He was very happy to see them again. And then, yeah. Then, then they got... Then Shrek and Fiona got, like, invited to the city called Far, Far, to this kingdom called Far, Far Away. And, yeah. And Fiona wanted to reunite with her parents, but Shrek did not like that idea because, because he said Fiona's parents might be shocked at how, because of their appearance and yeah but sh yeah this Shrek decided to go and Donk and Donkey came along and yeah so yeah Shrek Fiona and Donkey went to far far away and then Fiona got to reunite with her parents King, King Harold who was voiced by John Creech and and C Queen William who was voiced by Julie Andrews and, yeah. And Shrek got to meet them, and, yeah. However, King Harold and Shrek did not get along at first. And, yeah. Then Fiona met the, um, the, the and they met the, um, fairy godmother, who was voiced by Jennifer Sanders. And, yeah. And the fairy godmother found out that Shrek, Fiona got married to Shrek, but she... She wants her son, Prince Charming, to fall in love with Fiona. But, yeah. Yeah, so... King Harold sent this cat named Puss in Boots, who was voiced by Antonio Banderas, to kill Shrek, and then... Yeah, so Shrek and Donkey met Puss in Boots, and... Yeah. And yeah. And they, and Shrek and, Shrek, Donkey, and Puss and Boots went to the, the, to the, to the fairy godmother's factory to get this, like, po this potion called the Happily Ever After potion. And then, yeah. But once Shrek and Donkey drank it, what, Sh Donkey transformed into a horse and Shrek transformed into a human and Fiona got transformed to a human once again just like in the first movie her original appearance that you saw in the first movie so yeah so yeah so it's up to Shrek and Donkey to turn back into their normal selves before midnight, and that's basically what the plot is. Now, what do I have to say about Shrek 2? I really enjoyed this sequel. Great sequel. This is definitely one of those rare sequels that lives up to the first movie. Just like Toy Story 2. But yeah, I already reviewed on Toy Story 2. Now here I am, reviewing on Shrek 2. So, yeah. Shrek 2, real, uh, this is a fun sequel. I, I watched this movie, like, constantly as a kid. That's why I watched this movie constantly as a kid. Everything about this movie is just really, really good. Yeah. But would I consider this the, the best Shrek movie? No. Shrek 1 is my favorite Shrek movie. And Shrek is also my, f and the the original Shrek is my very first is and the is my favorite DreamWorks movie. So yeah, 
Shrek 1, the original Shrek is my favorite DreamWorks movie, but Shrek 2 is up there on my list of DreamWorks films. So yeah, I am planning to do a ranking video on the Shrek, on the DreamWorks movies from worst to best at some point once I saw, watch all of them, and yeah. Once I reviewed all of them, and I'm gonna try my best to go see the wild robot. So, yeah. I really enjoyed Shrek 2. Great sequel. Like I said, it's one of those rare sequels that lives up to the first film. Just like Toy Story 2. So, yeah. Now, let's talk about the characters. Shrek, Shrek, once again, is a great character is a hilarious character, and I have to say, Mike Myers did, once again, a great job voicing the character. And Eddie Murphy and Donkey, Donkey is a, another great character, and Donkey is still my favorite character from this movie. Donkey is my favorite character from all the Shrek movies, let's just say that. So yeah. Donkey is still a hilarious character. And I have to say, Eddie Murphy did a great job voicing him. And Princess Fiona, she's another, she's still a great character. And I have to say, Karen Diaz did a great job once again. And, yeah. And King Harold, King Harold is a great character. I liked King Harold. He's a great, he's a put, he's a great, he's a great character, and I have to say, John John Creech did a great job voicing him, and Queen William, Queen William, she's a she's a pretty good character, character, and I have to say, Julie Andrews, which we all know her as in films such as The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins. Which those are those are also good movies, but yeah, Queen she Julie Andrews Julie Andrews did a great job voicing Queen William, and yeah, so yeah, Julie Andrews did a great job voicing her. So yeah, Puss in Boots, he's a great character. I I loved Puss in Boots. He's a great character. Great character, and I have to say once again, Ant Antonio Banderas did a great job voicing the character too. So yeah, the f and the fairy godmother, she's an outstanding villain, one of the greatest DreamWorks villains, and I have to say Jennifer Sanders did a great job voicing the fairy godmother. Yeah, the fairy godmother is one of the greatest. DreamWorks villains. Is she the best DreamWorks villain in my opinion? No, I have to say Ward Farquaad is the best DreamWorks villain in my opinion and the best Shrek villain in general. But if we're talking about DreamWorks villains, Ward Farquaad is the best DreamWorks villain too, so yeah. So yeah, Ward Farquaad is my probably my favorite DreamWorks villain. So, yeah. Yeah, the Fairy Godmother is an outstanding villain. Villain? So, yeah. Prince Charming? He's a great character, too. So, yeah. I like Prince Charming. So, yeah. Pinocchio, once again, he's a great character. So is Gingy and... The Three Little Pigs and the Big Brad Wolf and the Three Blind Knights, and yeah. Yeah. Water. All the characters are great in this film. So, yeah. I enjoy Shrek 2 a lot. And I have to say, Shrek 2 has a great soundtrack. I have to say, Shrek 2 really does have a great soundtrack. Like, has some great songs like Accident, Accidentally in Love, Funky Town. Yeah, Funky 
town and changes, needs some sweep, ever fallen in love, and Liga da Di da Loka, the one that Donkey and Puss in Boots sung at the end of the film, and, and probably the best song from this movie is Holding Out, Holding Out for a Hero. That's right. Holding Out for a Hero is a great song. Don't get me wrong, all the other songs in this movie were great. But I have to say, Holding Out for a Hero is the best one. And I have to say, Jennifer Sanders did an outstanding job singing it. And yeah. Yeah, and you guys remember I did like an Animatch music video on Holding Out for a Hero. And I used the Shrek 2 version of the song. So yeah. You, if you guys been watching my channel for a while now, if you've seen all my Animash music videos, and yeah. Yeah, I'll, it's been a while since I made an Animash music video. I'll get to, I'll get to another, I'll think of another song to it, for it one, so yeah. Just gonna need some time, so yeah. So yeah, Holding Out For Here was the best song from this movie. And yeah, what a great songs in this film. Yeah, this movie had a really good soundtrack. Just like the first movie. And yeah, I enjoyed Shrek too. So yeah. Is there anything else I can say about... Now let's talk about some scenes in this movie. Oh... I like the scene where the Are We There Yet scene. <laughs> are we there yet? No. Yeah. Donkey was like annoying Shrek and then yeah. And the I, I'm not very good at it, but Oh for five minutes. Can you not be yourself for five minutes? <laughs> that was a hilarious scene. <laughs> A lot of fun, has a lot of funny scenes. Really great scenes. A lot of great scenes in this movie. And oh, I like the night scene, the night scene, where it's like a reference to the show Cops, and yeah. But instead, it's called Night, and <laughs> it was on the TV, and... And Shrek, Donkey, and Puss were getting chased by the knights, and yeah, and they got arrested, arrested, and then yeah, that was a hilarious scene. I could not stop laughing. <laughs> the that the night scene, scene, <laughs> that was a hilarious scene. I believe that's the that's a reference to the show Cops, and yeah, I love. That scene, it was so funny. <laughs> Man, like I said, a whole hilarious scenes in this film. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Shrek 2 is another childhood favorite of mine. And yeah. Definitely one of those rare sequels that lives up to the first film. Just like I said, just like Toy Story 2. And yeah. But, I have to say, Shrek 1 is my favorite Shrek movie. It's the best out of the Shrek series. And Toy Story, the first Toy Story is the best out of the Toy Story movies. But yeah, don't get me wrong. I love Shrek 2 and I love Toy Story 2. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I can say about... But yeah, but still... But Shrek 2 is still a great movie, nonetheless. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, used to watch this movie like all the time as a kid. And yeah, I enjoyed Shrek 2 a lot. And I also enjoyed the first one, too. I enjoyed all the Shrek movies, let's just say that. So yeah, that's all I can say about Shrek, that's all I can say about Shrek 2. So anyways, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give Shrek 2 a 10 out of 10 
there are absolutely no flaws with this sequel. Like I said, great sequel. Enjoyed it. I loved it. And yeah. So yeah, if you haven't seen Shrek 2, what are you waiting for? You should definitely check this movie out. So, yeah. So anyways, that is it for my movie review on Shrek 2. And stay tuned for my next movie review, which will be on Shark Tale. But until then, see you in the next video. Bye.